you know, us traditional artists are more used to, like, painting on cave walls. This is not the case. Okay, digital art is difficult and I have such a newfound respect for the people that actually do make digital art. Hello artists and welcome back to my channel and back to a brand new video and in today's video I would like to start off by just saying thank you so so much for the support on my last video if you haven't seen it already go click right up there thank you so so much for the support on that video it is ranking number one on my list YouTube threw a little party for me because the video did so well so thank you guys so so much for supporting me on that video and for commenting and for taking the time to leave comments and watching that video. I really, really do appreciate it. But we're not discussing last week's video. Instead, you will be seeing me attempt to create a masterpiece. So if you want to see Disaster Strike for the third time this year, then keep watching this video. me to create a digital masterpiece I needed to download a program that I could use to create digital art. The programs that I ended up downloading are called Krita and Autodesk Sketchbook. I started with Krita and right off the bat it's not very accessible. Like it's very very difficult to understand if you're very new to the program. I didn't do any research prior to trying this program which in hindsight was a bad idea but since this was a challenge I wanted to challenge myself to see what I can do with my knowledge as a traditional artist. I decided to create a landscape, which was a bad idea because I am not a landscape artist. That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I tried to create like a cool night sky with like rocks. It would have looked so, so cool, but um, that failed. Attempt number two. I thought it would be cool to create like a mossy forest scene that would just like look mystical and fantastic. So in the end, I tried to fix it by creating a character on top of the scene, just to like plaster it on there. So that's when I decided that this is not for me. I'm not a digital artist. I will never be a digital artist. Digital art who? I don't know him. We're not friends. We won't ever be friends. This is... I'm just kidding of course i gave it another shot but this time i wanted to use a different software so i opened up autodesk sketchbook and to be entirely honest at first it was the same result and i got just as frustrated but since it was a little more user friendly in my opinion it was easier to figure out and i did it i did it i created something magical something beautiful something magnificent so I started off by adding a symmetry line in the center of the canvas. I wanted my character to have symmetrical features because not only is it appealing to the eye, it's just so much easier to just draw on the one side and have it copy to the other side. I wanted to create something cool and like mystical looking because I'm really really intrigued by like fantasy creatures and that's really all I was going for, like 
After I created the base for the character, I went in on another layer using a darker color to create like a more detailed version of what I wanted, but still trying to keep it relatively simple in construction. So after I finished creating the final detailed sketch, I went back and created another layer where I would use color to make it pop. My shading was very very simple, I just used darker and lighter shades of the color that I was using just to give it some highlights and shadows. After I finished creating the first character, I was really really happy with how it turned out. It looked pretty cool, it kind of had that cartoony vibe, which I was not going for, but I'm so so happy it turned out like this. If this was a cartoon, I would absolutely watch it, it looks so so cool. And like after I got kind of the hang of how to create digital art, I went back and created two different separate characters for the background. brings us to the end of this video. I'm definitely not like excited about how it turned out but I'm not disappointed either. I think it's a really really interesting experience to have had um, and I would definitely try this again but next time I'm definitely gonna make sure that I have some experience and knowledge on how to actually create a digital artwork. So thank you so much for watching this far into the video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it was entertaining to watch. I really truly do appreciate your support so so much and thank you so much for the subscriptions and for like commenting on my videos. I really really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah my phone couldn't wait two more seconds. It needed to like cut me off. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's so very rude if you ask me. But I hope that you have a fantastic day or night, wherever you may be. Always be creative, stay artistic, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.